to stylish niger channel i want to say thank you to all of my subscribers i really appreciate you guys a lot for subscribing to my channel for liking my videos and sharing my videos if you are new to my channel you are highly and very 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 welcome today i'm going to be showing you how to achieve um a skirt i'm going to call it you could use an ankara you could use any fabric of your choice for this um, kind of skirt I'm going to call it, um, it's like a flounce um, layered skirt or a fringe layer skirt. So whatever you choose to call it. I just saw it, I liked it and so I decided to make a tutorial of it. So it's really simple and easy. And this skirt, you could actually achieve it in two ways. So you could see I have my skirt and pattern already um, made out here. You could decide if you don't want to waste your fabric, you could decide to uh, make use of a pattern paper. That's when you cut it on a pattern paper first. And then before you not transfer to your fabric but me since i have a lot of fabric so i could decide to to layer it uh, on top of each other so you could decide to do that if you are going to layer it on top of each other that means you are not going to line the skirt again but if you are going to use you are going to line it i advise you cut out your pattern use the pattern paper to do this so this is really simple and easy so i already have my skirt frame laid out so the fabric that i'm going to use to do my uh, slant on it on the skirt that i'm going to be putting on top i'm just going to make use of this um, black um, fabric and it's really simple and easy so i'm just going to determine where i actually want to to um, measure that's where i actually want my slant to be that's the slant line so i'm just going to um put my tape like this and then i'm going to measure where i actually want the slant line to to start from so i'm going to come to like 10 inches but before i do that i'm just going to use how much of my fabric that i have to to mark it all out before i actually start so you could see what i have you could see what i'm i have here so i'm going to measure out on the side so from the, the side of my skirt i'm actually making use of of eight inches so, so that's i'm starting from this slant that is going to be directly under the the hip and um, part so that's where it's going to be and then from the down part i'm using four inches so i have about four inches left so i'm just going to pin my fabric to my already made skirt and then i'm going to trim it all out i'm just going to trim it i follow the measurement of my skirt because i've already made the skirt so I'll follow, it's a pencil skirt, so I'm just going to follow the pattern and then trim it out. So with this, it will, it's really going to be easy for me to achieve. I've turned the back of my skirt now, so I'm just going to trim it from the side. So as I'm trimming, I'm going to leave like half an inch allowance on the side that I'm going to use to just to push it in. So I'm just going to follow the shape of my skirt like this and then I'm going to do the same thing to this side. I'll trim it out and then I'm going to trim the top part of the skirt. So at the end of the day, this is what my skirt, so you can see the shape, you see how the shape just came out at once very simple and easy so the next thing i'm going to do and i'm going to be making my um pleats that i'm going to be putting so you could decide to do this in, in two ways you could decide to use a straight straps for your pleats or you could decide to do it in a flounce way or you could decide to do it in a flare flounce way so i'm going to do the flare and one so i'm going to join them at the end of the day so this is what I have. I really like the shape that came out. It looks so good. So the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to take this amount of fabric. I'm going to measure how uh, long that's the length of the the flounce that I want to put. So I'm going to be making it of about um, four inches. So I'm going to cut out something of about um, five inches. So after stitching, it reduces to four. So I'm just going to use my leftover fabric. I don't really have any actual measurements for this because it's actually a leftover fabric. So the next thing I'm going to do, I'm just trying to, to fold my fabric before I cut. So I'll measure 
how much inch I have here. So I have about five and a half inches. So I'm going to use that inch. So I'm just going to do it in a, like, just like as if I'm cutting a circle. I'm cutting a circle. So I'm going to cut it out now. So the next thing I'm going to do now, I told you I said I was going to make use of five inches. So I'm going to cut out the other half inch from this. So I'll cut, I'll cut out one inch, one inch will be okay. So I'll, I'll have room for enough. So I'll have, so it will be big. So I'm going to cut out one inch. So this, you could decide to do it however you want to do it, just to achieve those pleats on your skirt. So I'm going to open it up, open them up now. I'm just going to open from one side like this. And then I'll open the second one also. Because I'm going to join them together. I'm just going to see what I have. So at the end of the day, so you see what I have. You see it's, it's really forming very well. So I could decide to to pleat it a bit like this on it like this and then I'm going to join them together. So I'll join these two together. So I'll cut out another one that I'm going to use for the back part of my skirt. So it's really simple and easy. So I'm going to join them together. I'll join them together like this first and then I'm going to connect some and then I'm going to connect and um, I'll connect them to the skirts. I'll connect one to those points like this. I'm just going to join one like this to this end and then join the other one for the back. So I'm going to go and do that and then come back and show you. Okay, so you see I finished teaching it. This um top part, you could decide to, if you are actually um, joining the fabric, that's if you are using the your pattern paper, you are cutting out your fabric and then mixing your anchor or your fabric so if you are doing that this stitch so because you are going to have a line on it that that's the joining line so with that you will use these ruffles to cover up but me since i'm cutting out a separate fabric so i'm not going to have any rough um line on mine so what i'm going to do now i'm going to connect them from the side so i've opened the side of my skirt so i'm going to join the side of my skirt so the other uh, strap, I'm going to show you how to attach it to it. As if you are doing the cuts, as if you actually cut cut out this point. So if you are the way you are going to use the bias binding to cover it, I'm going to show it to you on the machine. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to join the side and then show you how to how to secure this part with that your with the the bias binding. So I'm going to go and do that now. Okay, so I'm going to pull up my skirt now. So I've joined, I've joined them together. So I'm just going to show you how to to achieve this unbiased um, unbinding um, strip that strap that is on it. So it's really simple. So this is how you're going to do when you want to secure. So I open up the side of the skirt. So I'm just going to take my bias like this on the side, and then I'm going to place it on top of my ruffle. Because I'm, I'm going to be stitching it to this side. So I'm going to place it like this on top. On the line. On the actual line. And then I'm just going to run a straight line. Down to the end of where these ruffles are. So I'm just going to do that. And then come back and show you how to continue the other parts. So I'm going to stop here and then I'm going to cut it out. So 
I'm just going to cut it. I'm not going to the back. I just want I just want the strap on the front and part alone. So this is the next thing I'm going to do now. You're just going to turn your bias like this. As after stitching on the first part, you're just going to take the other edge of your bias strap like this. It's really simple. And then you're just going to bend like this. You're going to fold it. Like we will fold it like this. I'm just using this. And then you are just going to start stitching it back down. So I'm just making use of this and bias. So I'm just going to start stitching. So you are going to stitch as close as possible. So you straighten it with your with your hand like this and then you get it to the L other end so it's really simple so i'm just going to finish up now and then stitch the other part of my skirt and then come back and show you the completed skirt okay guys so you could see uh, my skirt so you could see the ruffles so this is how you achieve and the line that i was talking about so you use um a matching um, thread and and the matching um, fabric that's matching bias for the, the skirt so the next thing I'm going to do now is just for me to fix the band and then hem the down part so that's all so guys I've come to the end of this video illustration if you find it helpful please do not hesitate to hit on the like button comment on this video to show me to tell me what you think I've actually thought about it so thank you so much I'll see you in my next video